Hello, this is Johan Vermeule with MobilityMinded.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Mango update for Windows Phone 7. Uh, specifically, we're going to take a look at the groups. Um, I already have two groups here as life tiles listed. Um, one is called Close Friends and one is called Family. However, those groups uh, need to be created. And the reason why you want to create these groups is to kind of filter down uh, your big people hub feed that you have here. So the what's new section over here, you can see that's very big. It's my Facebook wall. It's my uh, Twitter is not integrated yet, but it will be Twitter, it will be a live contacts. So you want to narrow this down. Now, how do we create these groups? Very easy. We'll start in the people group right here. And on the bottom, on the top, you already see the two groups I have right there. On the bottom, you hit the plus, hit create new group, and then you're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it M. M for mobility minded. So just make it nice and easy. And right then I just select add contact. So from here you can just search two different ways. Either the quick button, there you go, and you can go mine are listed by last name. I can find someone right here, or you hit the search, which is on the bottom, so not the search hardware button anymore. So let's type in a name right here. Oh, Type the right name. There we go. So we have Mark right here, one of our editors as well. And that's another one here. It's a little different behind the camera to do this. And I add one more. Let's search. Let's search for Paul over here. And he's on the bottom, Paul Willer. So as you can see, I got three of them right now in there. Sometimes if you call, if you use the same last name, say you have family members with the same last name, it actually will suggest people as well. So I hit save right now, and we'll go to the People's Hub. And as you can see, I got the MM group right there. Now, when I tap on that, you'll see the individual tiles of the people I selected. So what you can do really quick without showing you the contact information, you will see the individual contact information and then what's new and the pictures. Um, so I have no reception here, so where I'm taking my camera right here, but it will show you those pictures and the what's new as well. Um, another great thing is combined of these three people, I can slide over into what's new and what's in the pictures. So let me do this for my family members right here because that's preloaded, of course. So I have my family members. As you can see, I got six people in here. I can slide over what's new and you see all the feeds of those six people together, which is great. Same thing for pictures. I can click on the pictures here of family and you see all the pictures combined. Uh, it's probably not gonna pull them up, but they're still there. So they're all combined or I still, from here, I can say, I want to go to the individual person's albums, and you can do that. So, really nice and neatly. So, the group's functionality is really, really great. How do you pin it to your start? So, let's go to the Mobility Miner one I created. Two ways. I can open up, and I can select the pin button on the bottom right here, and it pins it to start and you'll have it right there on your home screen. And the second way would be, let's go back to the People Hub, would be if you tap and hold on the group and you get the pin to start. It's grayed out right now because this group, of course, is already pinned to the start. This was Johan Vermeule with Mobility Minded and we looked at the group's functionality in the Mango update for Windows Phone 7.